Shalom, I'm going to give a praise and a glory to Yahweh Bashem, Hoshai Bashem, Rakakadash, and double honors to the odds and apostles of Great Millstone, who told truth, and peace, blessings, and citations to the hopeful elect. And literally, this is just a lesson in the spirit, man. <clears throat> like, I don't know, I was just sitting there, and then it just came into my mind about Esau and the payback they're going to receive. And then the name of the Lord just kept coming into my head, man. And I had to keep, I had to keep praising it, man. And I thought, yo, I might as well just do a lesson, man. Just, just roll for the spirit, you know what I mean? But yeah, um, let me start at Ezekiel. Is it Ezekiel 15? No, that's not it. No, that's not it. Maybe it's Ezekiel 35. Ah, here we go. <clears throat> it says, Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, set thy face against Mount Seir and prophesy against it. And Mount Seir being the place where the Edomites used to dwell. They used to dwell there basically in the clefts of the rock that's literally what Mount Seir is they dwelled in the clefts of the rock of the rocks and they're basically the original cavemen and that's actually made mention in, of in the scriptures man and you know what let me quickly prove that real quick let me go to Job Job 30 and 5 Job no Job 30 and 5 it says they were driven from among men they cried after them as a thief to dwell in cliffs of the valleys in caves of the earth and in the rocks among the brushes among the bushes they braid and that word braid basically meaning to to make noises and you gotta remember esau is the basis of all men so during that time they couldn't speak they couldn't communicate like we could back then they were basically, what's the word, so-called retarded and stupid. And they would um, make noises among themselves and literally do, do those grunts. That's what the, that's what, <laughs> just like the cartoons, man, with the caiman. They don't speak, all they do is make sounds. That's literally what bread means, just to, to make noise. And it says they were children of fools, yeah, children of base men. They were viler than the earth. And also to prove that it's talking about Esau Edom. Let's go to Obadiah. One. Let me start at one. It says the vision of Obadiah. And thus says the Lord God concerning Edom. We have heard a rumor from the Lord Yahweh. But Hashem HaWashai, an ambassador sent among the heathen. Arise ye and let us rise up against her in battle. Behold, I have made thee small among the heathen, thou art greatly despised. The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the cleft of the rocks. Woo! You see what I mean? Esau Edom and the, the original cavemen. Just like the original habitation. Um Mount Petra, Mount Seir. Literally living in the living in the in the clefts of the rock. In the clefts of the rock, shall I say? And even in um in the, the Caucasus Mountains. In Georgia, the, during the time of the Byzantine Empire, when they were driven forth from among men, during the rulership of the Israelites, man, they were living in caves back then too. So let me read that again. The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock. I remember what um, it said in Job chapter 30. It said they were children of base men, being the lowest of the low. And you see, and that's why it says, Thy pride of thine heart has deceived thee. Why? Because they are the lowest of the low. And they think themselves to be something that they're not. Here it is. They're the basis of all creation. The basis at the bottom. And literally the base is literally the bottom. Like for example, you got a 3D shape. The, the base would be the bottom. The bottom of the shape. And they're literally at the bottom of the totem pole. 
But like you may have mentioned, the pride of thine heart has deceived thee. So they've lifted themselves up in their mind because the Lord has given them knowledge, wisdom and understanding on the left hand side. So therefore, the knowledge that they received has caused them to think that they're higher than what they actually are. And that's another thing, man. Like it makes mention in um let me quickly go to Isaiah. Isaiah 47. And I think it's nine. Uh no, that's not it. Ah, uh, here we go. Isaiah 47 and 10. It says, For thou hast trusted in thy wickedness, thou hast said, None seeth me. Thy wisdom and thy knowledge, it hath perverted thee. And thou hast said it in thine heart, I am and none else beside me. Just like he makes mention in Obadiah, man. Literally, because of this knowledge that the Lord's gave, given them, they're prideful, man. They've lifted themselves up. <clears throat> and literally, they've, they've deceived themselves into believing there's something that they're not. Like the scriptures may mention, um, if a man think... It's something. Yeah, Galatians 6 and 3 says, For if a man think himself to be something, when he is nothing, he deceiveth himself, being Esau Edom. They're the basis of all men, and here they are thinking that they're gods. Here they are thinking they are better than Yahweh, man. They think they're better than Yahweh. The Heavenly Father, man. The creator of all things. <laughs> And here is the Lord Yahweh, and even Yahweh Shai have infinite knowledge, man, infinite wisdom. Literally, all that comes out of, out of their mouths is wisdom, man, and understanding and knowledge. <clears throat> and let me go back to Ezekiel 35. And seeing this is how the spirit works, man. Here it is, I, got, I had nothing to talk about. And now the spirit's hopped on me and just jumping from here over there, linking it up, putting these um, puzzle pieces together, man, to bring the understanding. Like the scriptures may mention, um, precept must be upon precept, here a little and there a little. And that's how you get the understanding, man, because this book's like a puzzle. You just got to put the pieces together, or shall I say, put the precepts together, and you'll get a better understanding. So let me carry on. Ezekiel 35. And third and three, he says, and say unto it, Thus saith the Lord God, Yahweh, but Shem Shai, Behold, O Mount Seir, I am against thee, and I will stretch out mine hand against thee, and I will make thee most desolate, as it makes mention in Malachi um, 1, and I think it's three, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, Malachi 1 and 3. It says, I have hated Esau and laid his mountains and his heritage a waste for the dragons of the wilderness. And literally, the Lord's going to do it again, man. He's going to make their habitations desolate. Like the scriptures also make mention. He says, scatter fire and brimstone upon their habitation. And it says, and I will lay that thy cities waste and thou shalt be desolate and thou shalt not. And thou shalt know that I am the Lord Yahweh by Shemahal Shai. And it says, because thou hast said, Selachia, because thou hast had a perpetual hatred and has shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword. And in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an, had an end. And when did they um, shed the blood of the children of Israel? Literally, the most recent ones is the Atlantic slave trade, man. Where they basically um, went all over the world, basically slaying Jake. <clears throat> they went to the west coast of Africa, slayed Jake there, took the rest of them into captivity. They went over to the land of Asaraf, being America, and found the the ten tribes, and slayed them, raped, robbed, and murdered them. Or should I say, raped, raped them, and robbed and basically pillaged. And literally shed their blood over there as well, man. <clears throat> so let's carry on. It says, Therefore, as I live, save the Lord Yahweh by Shem Shai. And that's crazy because <laughs> the Lord liveth forever and ever, even ever and ever. 
And he says, I will prepare thee unto blood, and blood shall pursue, pursue thee. He says, say if thou hast not hated blood, <clears throat> even blood shall pursue thee. Thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate, and cut off from it that passeth out, and him that returneth. And I will fill his mountains with his slain men, in thine hills and in thy valleys, and in all thy rivers shall they fall that are slain with the sword. I will make thee perpetual desolations, and thy cities shall not return. You see, <laughs> and I imagine I have another scripture. Um, they that see him shall ask, where is he? No, that's not it. Perish his own dung. Yeah, Job 20 and 5. It says, The triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite, but for a moment, and yet Esau's a hypocrite. He'll tell you, you're not allowed to do this, 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 and this, but they'll end up doing the same thing that this that they said you can't do. And it says, um, it says, Thou his excellent mount up to the heavens, and his head reach unto the clouds, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, Where is he? He shall fly away as a dream, and shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of the night. So, <laughs> so there you go, man. Literally, Esau won't be here. Like it makes mention over here in Ezekiel 5. And yeah, 9, it says, I will make thee perpetual desolations, and thy city shall not return. And you shall know that I am the Lord, Yahweh, Shem Shai. <clears throat> and it says, Because thou hast said, These two nations and these two countries shall be mine, and I will possess it, whereas the Lord, Yahweh, was there. And that's another thing. Um, yeah, the two nations basically being um, the southern kingdom and the northern kingdom. <clears throat> and if you actually look into that word possess, it actually means to be great or forced. So Esau wants us, Esau wants to force himself upon the Israelites. <clears throat> and the way he's going to do that is by offering out the MOTB. It's going to make your life hard. A living, it's going to make life a living hell. So that you come down to Egypt and basically trust in them and take that device man <clears throat> but let's see what the law says it says therefore as i live saith the lord god i will even do according to thine anger and according to thine envy which thou has used out of thy hatred against them yeah just like it made mention in um in genesis where where esau was like the time for mourning over my father um, has come to an end and now will I say my brother Jacob I'm not, I know for a fact I, I said that wrong let me just get it yeah it says and Esau yeah this is Genesis 27 41 it says and Esau hated Jacob because of the blessing wherewith his father blessed him and Esau said in his heart the days of mourning for my father at hand then will I slay my brother Jacob so yeah like it meant mention um it says, Therefore, as I live, saith the Lord God, I will even do according to thine anger and according to thine envy which thou hast used out of thy hatred against them, and I will make myself known among them when I have judged thee. And to be honest, literally the Lord is making himself known unto the Israelites while being his hopeful elect. Literally, I am gonna lie, man. Like the like the Lord's drawing closer to me. I ain't gonna sit here and, and 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 lie and be like, nah, the the Lord ain't drawing close to me. Yo, the Lord's drawing closer to me, closer than I've, I've ever been to him. For real, man. Like, yo, I can call upon the name of the Lord and the chariots will appear. It's, it's, it's crazy, man. And the Lord's been showing me stuff, man, that I've, that I've never seen before. And, and, and it's amazing. But then again, <laughs> the scriptures do say this. 
set them in order before dying eyes yeah psalm 1621 it says these things has thou done and i kept silence thou thoughtest that i was altogether such and one as thyself so yeah when esau came and brought us into captivity and sold us off all over the world the, they thought that the lord was with them but no literally the lord said that would happen and literally the reason why the lord didn't do anything because he said it was going to happen if we continued to disobey his voice, man, and not hearken diligently unto his voice. And it says, But I will reprove thee and set them in order before thine eyes. So what Esau's seeing now is the real the rebuilding of the tabernacle of David, which which has fallen, being the prophets being risen up to go out to the highways and byways and teach this word, man, teach the hundred percent truth on the streets, man. Because <clears throat> like it makes mention as well um, The book of Amos Amos 9 Amos 9 and 9 It says for Lord I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations Why? Because they were scattered among all nations Like as corn is sifted in a sieve Yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth all the sinners of my people shall die by the sword, which say the evil shall not overtake, nor prevent us being those two thirds and those wicked ass um, Israelites. <clears throat> and it says, In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen, and close up the breaches thereof, and I will raise up his ruins, and I will build it as in the days of old, being a, a spiritual houseman. That so called third temple is literally. The third temple is literally the house of David. It's literally the prophets. Because like it's mentioned, lively stones. First Peter 2 and 5, it says, Ye also as lively stones are built up as spiritual house and holy priesthood to offer spiritual sacrifices acceptable to the power by Yahweh Shai Hamashiach. And that's why Yahweh Shai is important, man. Because without Yahweh Shai, we, could, we wouldn't be able to do this. <clears throat> and yeah, like it makes mention in um, 2 Samuel 7. And here we go, 2 Samuel 7 and 13. It says, He shall build a house for my name, and I will establish the throne of his kingdom forever. I will be his father and he shall be my son. If he commit iniquity, I will chasten him with the rod of men and with the stripes of the children of men, being King Solomon, which King Solomon is Yahweh Shai. <clears throat> and it says, But my mercy shall not depart away from him, as I took it from Saul, who are put away before thee. And thine house and thy kingdom shall be established forever before thee. Thy throne shall be established forever. And it says, according to all these words and according to all this vision, so did Nathan speak unto David. So, yeah, he was talking about his, his, his son, man, King Solomon, which King Solomon is Yahweh Shai. Like he makes mention here. Um, uh, let me tie this in. Matthew 1 1 it says the book of the generation of Yahweh Shai HaMashiach, the son of David, the son of Abraham, meaning he was Isaac and meaning he was King Solomon. And you gotta remember reincarnation, man. Spirits don't die, they just come back in a new body. Because, like he makes mention, um, Yeah, second just 14 and 35, it says, For after death shall the judgment come, when we shall what? Live again. And then shall the names of the righteous be manifest, and the works of the ungodly shall be declared. <clears throat> so there you go, man. We literally come back on the earth after we die. And yeah, let me go to, um, is it Matthew 22? To thus prove that King Solomon is Yahweh Shai. Yeah, and and um, carrying on. 
Literally, my brother came back, but yeah, it's like a gun this car to finish this off. So, I'm outside. Oh, I'm sitting in the car, but yeah. Let me carry on. Yeah, so this is Matthew 22 and 41. It says, While the Pharisees were gathered together, Yahweh Shai asked them, saying, What think of ye of the anointed? Whose son is he? They say unto him, The son of David. He saith unto them, How then doeth David in the spirit call him Lord, saying, The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou on my right hand, till I make thine enemies thy footstool. If David then call him Lord, how is he his son? And it says, And no man was able to answer him a word, neither does any man from that day forth ask him any more questions. <laughs> and you see, <clears throat> it's pretty obvious. They, they weren't of the elect, man. The ones asking weren't, weren't of his sheepfold. Hence why they didn't understand. <clears throat> and literally, what was it again? Um, yeah, that was actually said unto you how shy, man. To, to sit down at his right hand. And even David himself said it. And you see, it's even even Luke, he mentioned it twice. It says, Luke 20 and 42, it says, And David himself saith in the book of Psalms, The Lord Yahweh said unto my Lord, being Yahweh Shai, Sit down, it says, Sit down on my right hand. And Luke 22 and 69, it says, Hereafter shall the Son of Man sit on the right hand of the power of, of God, being Yahweh man. And you see, even in Acts, it's mentioned, Acts 2 and 34, for David is not ascended into the heavens, but he save himself, the Lord Yahweh said unto my Lord, sit down on my right hand. And this was said unto Yahweh Shiman. And see, in even Hebrews 1 and 13, he says, but which of the angels said he at any time, sit on my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. And he was said unto Yahweh Shiman, because like he makes mention in the Psalms as well, David himself. It says, Psalms 110 and 1. It says, the Lord Yahweh said unto my Lord, sit down my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. And literally this was after the Lord had finished his course, man. Where is it again? Um, where's Hebrews? Hebrews 1 and 3. As you know, let me start up one. Hebrews 1 and 1. It says, God who at sundry times in diverse manners spake in times past unto the fathers by the prophets, having the last days spoken to us by his son, being Yahweh Shai, whom he have appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds. And yet the Lord, Yahweh gave all power unto Yahweh Shai, man, in heaven and, and in earth. And it says, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his persons and upholding all things by the word of his power, when he had by himself purged our sins. So after when he um, he died and went up on the, on the, on the cross, or on the wood. It says, sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high, being Yahweh Shai, man. So King, King Solomon is Yahweh Shai, and so is Isaac, man. <clears throat> and literally, like I'm just mentioning, um, is it Acts 1 and 11? Yeah. It says, actually, let me start on 9. It says, And when he had spoken these things, while they beheld, he was taken up, and a cloud received him out of the sight, being how share. And it says, And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, being two angels. But it's also said, Ye men of Galilee, while stand ye gazing up into heaven, this same Yahawashai which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. So, the same way he, he, he departed in a cloud is going to come back in one. So the same way he departed in a chariot is coming back in one. And that's why he makes mention of um, Revelation 1 and 7. Behold, he cometh with clouds and every eye shall see him, even them which pierce him. And all kings of the earth shall well because of him, even so am on. And yeah, literally, and this is when Yahweh Shai returned back Unto the Father to 
receive that glory, man. But first, let me go here. John 17 and 5. It says, as you know, let me. Yeah. John 17 and 4. <clears throat> he said, I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. And now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. So, yeah, how shall I wind that glory back, man? <clears throat> and this is when Yahweh Shai received that glory. And it's in the book of Daniel. And he had a vision about it, man. Daniel had a vision about Yahweh Shai receiving the glory and power. When he returned after he purged our sins, as he makes mention in Hebrews 1 and 3. And this is Daniel 7 and 13. And it says, I saw the in the night visions. And behold, one like unto the Son of Man came with the clouds of heaven. And came to the Ancient of Days, and the Ancient of Days is Yahweh. And they brought him near before him. And there was what? Given him dominion and glory and a kingdom that all people, nations and language should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion which shall not pass away. And his kingdom that which shall not be destroyed. As he made mention in Second Samuel chapter 7, man. His kingdom is going to be everlasting, man. <laughs> and like he makes mention, man. In yeah, Matthew 20 and 18, it says, And Yahweh Shai came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. So, you see, literally, Yahweh Shai is our salvation. Yahweh Shai is our salvation. And without him, there's no way we could be in this truth. There's no way we could be doing the work without Yahweh Shai. So, Yahweh Shai is a very important man. Because without him, there is no access to Yahweh. Yahweh wouldn't even take us back unless it was, unless Yahweh Shai went up on the, um, on the, the cross to basically die for our, our sins, man. That was the, basically the opening for us to come back and be adopted back, man, to, uh, to Yahweh. It's through Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai's sacrifice that we're able to, um, have an everlasting kingdom, man. And to be heirs of the salvation. <laughs> and where was that scripture? What was that scripture? I wanted to get um I think I've forgotten it now. There was, there was one scripture I wanted to get. Um You know what? I've forgotten it. I guess that's the Lord saying it's time to could wrap up, man. But yeah. <clears throat> I hope this lesson was edifying. Oh yeah, that was it. That is it. I think I remember. Um, it literally just pops into my head and it's gone again. Oh, yeah, that's it. All praises to how about Shim, how shy, man. <clears throat> the Lord's working, man. John 17 and 11, it says, And now I am no more in the world. But these are in the world, and I come to thee, Holy Father. Keep through thine own name those whom thou hast given me, that they may be one as we are. And literally, there's also another one. Mm. 
Oh, why can't I find it, man? For some reason, I can't find it, but literally the scripture is no man can come after me. <clears throat> no, no, no man can come, come after the father except through me. It's, it's, it's something like that. Let me try one last time. Ah, there we go. <laughs> oh, praise to you, how I found it. John 14 and 6. And it says, Your house shall I safe unto him. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So there you go, man. In order for us to have access back to Yahweh, we have to go through Yahweh Shai. Because Yahweh Shai is the lawyer. Yahweh Shai is the one that gave up himself. For our iniquity so that we could return man i'm sure there's i'm sure there's a scripture about that i remember, I remember seeing it i just bought access ah here we go Yeah, Ephesians 2 and 13. I'm going to read on down. It says, um, But now in the anointed, Yahweh Shai, ye who sometimes were far off are made nigh by the blood of the anointed. For he is our peace, who have made both one and have broken down the middle wall of partition between us, having abolished in his flesh their enmity, even the law of commandments contained in ordinances, for to make him to make in himself of twain one new man so making peace and that he might reconcile both unto god in one body by the cross having slain the enmity thereby and came and preached peace to you which were afar off and to them that were nigh being the electman the let that was that was scattered like he makes mention in james 1 and 1 greetings to who the let that was no greetings to the 12 tribes that were scattered abroad and it says, through him, we both have access by one spirit unto the Father. So it's through Yahweh Shai that we have access to the Father, man. Without him, we ain't shit. I'm, I'm just going to keep it 100. Without Yahweh Shai, we ain't shit. And without Yahweh Shai, we will be destroyed. And literally, Yahweh's literally shown them pawns of his son, man. The Lord Yahweh wants Yahweh Shai to be worshipped and even reverence. And let me get the scripture. Um, kiss. Angry. Yeah, Psalms 2 and 12, it says, Kiss the son, lest he be angry, and ye perish from the way. When his wrath is kindled but a little, blessed are all they that put their trust in him. And that word, and that, um, the meaning to kiss the son, it means to reverence him. Because like they're doing the um, mafia, like they're doing the mafia, they would kiss the ring finger of the, of the mafia boss. <clears throat> and even in the ancient times, they would kiss the ring finger of the king to show reverence. 
So that's all it means to basically show reverence unto the sun. And even here, let me go to Hebrews 1. Because I know it makes mention of it in here. Um, where is it? Oh. And I need to search it at worship. Oh, that's not it. That is not it. I think it's the Form 20 Elders. Ah, uh, here we go. Yeah, Revelation 4 and 8, it says, And the four beasts had each of them six wings about him, and they were full of eyes within. And they rest not day and night, saying, Holy, 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 Lord God Almighty, which was and is and is to come. And when those beasts give glory and honour and thanks to him that sat on the throne, who live forever and ever, the four and twenty elders fall down before him, that sat on the throne and worship him that liveth forever and ever and cast their crowns before the throne saying that are worthy O lord to receive glory honor and power and that was yahweh shy man lucky man like um, <laughs> like i read in daniel 7 and 13 on down literally when yahweh shy came to the ancient of days what was given to him power honor and glory man and he says for thou hast created all things and for thy pleasure they are and were created so you see the lord yahweh wants yahweh shai to be worshipped and yahweh shai is important <clears throat> and not only that but you know what that's basically it for the lesson i, I feel i feel um the precepts leaving my head right now so yeah i don't want to keep talking i'm wasting your time but yeah i want to give all praises and glory to yahweh and shalom